swashes. They're called swashes. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I'm calling them wing doodles. Here's the deal. If you want to race to the bottom with your ornament sales, buy files that are mass produced or not mass produced, but everybody buys them. You know which ones I'm talking about. Everybody's selling them. Go to any craft show right now and you will see these same designs. Go on Facebook Marketplace. You will see those same designs. A way to get away from that is to start designing your own. Now we can make similar designs to those ones that are popular or just make brand new designs. I've been going through a multitude of how to design laser ornaments tutorials in order to get you comfortable with how to do this. Here's another piece that you can add to that and that is uh, glyphs or they're referred to as glyphs, but swashes. And those are the wing doodles on the front and the back of text. If you're using a script font, it's as you're writing, looks all girly and stuff. We're gonna go through how to get those added to your fonts and that will set you apart from other makers. First thing you wanna do is find your fonts. Uh, if you already have preloaded fonts on your computer, I don't have a Mac, I'm not doing this on a, what do you call them, a Mac? I'm not doing this on a Mac workstation, it's on a Windows, so it might be totally different on Mac, I'm sorry guys. Your character map for the fonts that you have installed. This is what comes with Windows. You go to the four little squares here and search character map. And there it is. Character map, you can open that and look at it, it sucks. The other option is uh, character map UWP. I knew nothing about this. Uh, but the Louisiana hobby guy had a video about this a while back. Check out his stuff. But here is a, a better way to do this or a better way to look at your characters. So Character Mac UWP, download that, it's free. And we'll just bring these up side by side so you can see them. Uh, this is all condensed and it really sucks. Gives you the information that you need, but you really gotta get in there. I don't want that. So this one that we just downloaded, has all of your fonts over here on the left hand side and you can see if there are any glyphs on here uh, this is a script I don't think that would have anything on there so you can run through this and see the different wing doodles or swashes <laughs> that this text has to offer and these are all your different characters nothing too crazy I'm not overly enthralled with that guy that might have some stuff holy mackerel look at those if you click on them, it brings them up on the right-hand side here. Pretty cool. A whole lot of wing doodles and stuff going on there. Jeez. I have some fonts downloaded on here, and those are, don't even have glyphs and stuff. But a way to find cool fonts if you are looking to sell your projects. Yes, I know you can go to Defont, and we will go there right now. And you can look at all the fonts that they have here. We'll go to Script Fonts. And you can see all the awesome script fonts that they have here. And if they have these swashes, it's a pretty good indication that they will have, that you'll be able to add those and maybe even others. This is Adelia by Caroline. And the first thing you want to look at here, and you can see it right up here, uh, free for personal use. Also down here, you agree that this font is only for personal use. No commercial use is allowed. There's a caveat though. It requires a license for promotional or commercial use. You can email this lady here and uh, get that license. Probably buy it from them. But if you go down here and you can see all of the things, view all glyphs. Now the glyph is just what the type is or what each letter will look like or number. That's what the actual glyph is. The swash is the deal on the front and the back or even in the middle sometimes. Let's go down and look at these. There you go. So there's a whole bunch of them. Um, lowercase stuff, just the swash by itself. The front and the back, here's extra swashes. So there you go. Um, and that's how you can find that information on Defont. But like I said, it's only free for personal use. If you want to sell that product or put this text on a product and sell it, you have to pay for a license. So the method we're gonna to use today is uh, Creative Fabrica. And if you sign up uh, right now for Creative Fabrica, there's uh, 10 free downloads. And then after that, uh, you're billed $9.99 monthly. But it's well worth the cost of admission because you can download as much crap as you want and use it. Uh, 
fonts, files, whatever. Go check it out, link in the bio. All right, so we're gonna go to fonts here, script fonts. And you can see here that they got all these wing doodles and all that. Madison down here, it's got these guys. And if you scroll down, you can view all of them. So capitals, lowercase, numbers, all that's fine. What it looks like written out. Keep going down here and you can see the different swashes that they got um, on the back hearts, little wing doodles there, stuff on the front, upside down hearts. That might be a butt. I don't know. Parts on the front, exaggerations on letters. There's just a bunch of crap on here. I like this font. Let's download it. All right, Brian from the future here. It occurred to me that I didn't even show how to download a file. So uh, you'll hit download. And if it doesn't show up in like the top right, uh, you can open up your file explorer. And then on the left hand side, it'll show downloads. Click on that. And then there should be a folder that has the name of the text. You want to click on that, extract all. Um, once you extract it and just hit OK, it should uh, another folder should show up in that same f uh, file downloads area. Um, and you'll have two different types: open type and true type font. Uh, I typically only download or install open type fonts, but right click on that, hit install, and you're good to go. I have to restart. Might have to. No, nope, not at all. There you go. Probably have to refresh this guy. Can you F5 it? Let's just close it and reopen it. <clears throat> all right, scrolling all the way down here to those. And that's really nice. I like the way that looks. Look, a little heart over the eye for the dot. Chef's kiss. Let's see what we can do for that N. Oh, that's fancy. All right, so I'm gonna copy this guy. Go back over here, Control V. Oh, baby. Look at that. Let's see what else they got. Oh, two, oh God. Look at that. Is that already on there? I don't even know if that's already on there though. It is. Oh, look at that eye, the little swirly eye. Let's copy that. We have to put that in there. Control V, golly, look at that. Now keep in mind that that will break apart uh, your text into three parts now, because that M is not gonna be connected. Uh, the A, D, D, I is now not gonna be connected. And then the S, O, N. So fooling around with these things will make it break apart or put it together either way. Just things to keep in mind. So that's how you can add these swirly do's to your text. And there's a take on the Christmas ornament template that we've been working on for all of these videos. So this is just another way that you can do that. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around this long and we'll catch you on the next one. Swashes, they're called swashes. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I'm calling them wing doodles. I have to write that down. Too freaking hillbilly for this. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna extract these. Do extract and I want to install. Ooh.